Fortnite squad. Center circle is the best position in the game. Let me prove it to you. The fourth circle always spawns within the third circle. So these are the furthest possible fourth circles from the center. This is your rotation in the worst case scenario. This is the best scenario. Now, let's see all possible circles and there you have it. The center of the circle is the best place to be. I want to give a special shout out to Reddit user Destiny's Jesus for inspiring me to explain this. Now that I have your attention, let's learn how to win your first game of Season 8. We had a long discussion with our partner pro players to make this how to win video, so be sure to watch all the way through. Let's start with the very beginning, how to land. Thank the bus driver. A good old thank you goes a long way. It's all around good juju to thank the bus driver. Choose a landing zone that you know well. Preferably, landing a zone that's not too hot or too cold is ideal. Either way, you should know all the spots to loot and farm. Another thing to consider is how many players are landing with you. Every player is a threat, but at the same time, you want to fight for shields and mats. This leads me to my next point. Find players to hunt as you're flying in. The 150 mats and 50 shield can give you a major advantage. Some kills are worth more than others, and a kill right off the bat is definitely worth a lot. If there aren't players to hunt, then make sure you're farming and looting as quickly as possible. Be prepared. You should expect every player that you run into to have at least 50 shields and plenty of mats. Position along the edges of the zone. It's way more effective to be on the outside of the zone as opposed to the middle. When you're moving from the outside to the middle, the chances of a player behind you is low. When you're moving from the middle to the outside, there are threats all around you. Basically, you can third party everyone way easier if you collapse from the outside and you can pick and choose your fights freely. These are four easy things to do when you land. Pro players do these things consistently, and so should you. Here they are again. Memorize them, embrace them, these tips are your friends. Let's move on to the early game, where it's a bit more complex. The early game is the time between your first looting zone and the first circle. There are a lot of videos about the early game already, but they don't talk about the most important thing, the bus path. To have consistent early games, you need to understand how to use the bus path to your advantage. Look at the bus path as soon as possible. You should be able to guess where players will be. You can bet that more than half of the lobby is going to jump within the first quarter of the path. If we place a circle in the middle of the map and have the bus go through like this, then we can assume that there will be more players on the south side of the map. We can go a step further and say that the southwest part will have even more players because there are more looting zones on that side. This means that the safest place is the northeast corner because it's the furthest away. This is exactly how pro players map out where everyone will be. You can also make smart rotations with this info. You can plan your route into the first circle by running through possibly unlooted zones. Keep in mind that you might find a fight or two because there is usually at least one player per looting zone. If you do get into a fight, then it's likely a 1v1, and you should always be confident in 1v1s. If the circle spawns on top of you, then you can make your way to the edge that will have less players. You might get caught in the rotation, so always be aware of your surroundings. It might seem like all I've been doing is teaching you how to avoid players, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm teaching you how to path like a pro and set yourself up for a great mid game. You might not have used the bus path in the past, but start today. Your early games will become way more consistent and you'll be one step closer to winning your first game. Let's consider the mid game as the second and third circle. This is a really confusing part of the game and I know a lot of players struggle here. That's why I don't wanna overwhelm you. So here's a simple to-do list that will carry you to the end game. Make sure your loadout is complete and your mat count is healthy. You should already be taking smart routes based on what you know about the bus path. If you aren't comfortable taking a fight, then you should still have plenty of time to find loot and farm. Don't run headfirst into a third party. 
Third parting is different in the mid game because it's really easy for players to join in. That's why you need to pick your fights. Do this by asking yourself one question. Can I join and end this fight quickly? You can measure how long the fight will take based on how much you have to build. If you have to build 50 meters into the sky, chances are you aren't ending that fight anytime soon. If the players are on ground level, then you can swoop in for the cleanup. Players that don't consider this simple question will lose time and time again in the mid game. I really encourage you to take this simple approach. It's as close to a cheat code as you can find. And every fight quickly. Everyone is roaming around the map in the mid game. So when they see a skyscraper, they're going to head on over. This is where all your hard work pays off. Use all of your fancy building and editing skills to quickly destroy your opponent. If you aren't confident in your building skills, then watch the analysis videos on this channel. Or better yet, visit Pro Guys and check out our courses. The last thing to do is to set up for the end game. This is really situational, but using the terrain of the map is something you can do every game. Remember what I told you in the beginning of the video? You can guess where the fourth circle will be, so find natural high ground in that area. If you can't rotate to the natural high ground, don't worry about it. Make a one by one in a safe spot or hide in a box. In this case, your goal is to wait for the fifth circle when it begins to move. Now just a reminder, you can use this cone trick to scout. All you have to do is open the edit menu and you can look all around. The most common mid-game mistake is roaming around like a headless chicken. Make every step have a purpose, whether it's to find a fight, scavenge for loot, or farm mats. Also, don't forget to ask yourself the simple third-party question and most importantly, position yourself for the end game. If you follow this to-do list, you'll punch a ticket into the end game more often than not. You know the end game is here when your palms start to sweat and easy edits become really difficult. It's totally okay to feel this way, but it's a problem if it's getting in the way of winning. Every end game is unique, so I can't give you a direct guide. Instead, I'm going to give you something better. Eight tips to celebrate your first season eight victory royale. Rotate when everyone else is distracted. When you hear shots, start thinking about rotating. You should always have a rotation plan ready so you can act right when the first shot is fired. You will lose a lot more games if you just sit there and wait. Always keep an eye on your mat count. If you're full mats, then build, build, build. If you die in the end game with a ton of mats, you need to revisit what went wrong. If you're low on mats, then use old build and terrain for cover. One of my favorite things to do is to hide behind already built structures and rotate late when I'm low on mats. It's possible to rotate with low max. You just have to be a bit creative with your pathing. Go for natural high ground. Mountains and hills are an easy ticket to victory royales. This is something that everyone knows, but no one actually does. Natural high ground is the best in almost every single situation. Remember to fight back. Yes, you need to build, but you also need to fight back. If someone all ends you, then you better act fast or else you're going to never win. Far too many players default into pencil warriors for no good reason. One thing that helps me is to think that if my opponent can shoot me, then I can shoot them. Always cover yourself when going for chip damage. Peeking out of a one by one is a quick way to die. A new trick I've seen is to make a door instead of a window. This way, you can peek out of a lower angle with more cover. Check out the difference between a window peek and a door peek. Try the door peek the next time. It works really well. Use your launch pads. Many pro players live and die by launch pad rotations. A good time to use launch pads is when the storm is close to you. If you launch pad too early, then everyone is going to shoot at you. When you wait for the storm to close in, your chances of being shot are much lower since players are rotating. This has been one of the most common ways to rotate since the beginning of competitive Fortnite. Take control of every wall around you. When you're in a tunnel, you need to own every single piece. You want the power to edit and move around whenever you need to. It's even more important to control every building in the middle of a fight. Always break and replace every single piece that isn't yours. Last but not least, play the game with an open mind. Now, you're not going to win every single end game. If a player outplays you really badly, then it might be a good idea to watch the rest of the endgame. 
You can learn new tricks and analyze their gameplay when you're open-minded. You can't learn when you're being salty. So stay humble and go into each game with the goal of learning and you'll have the first win before you know it. This is exactly how you're going to win your first game of Season 8. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're also really excited to announce that we want to do our next analysis videos on you guys. Send us your replays. We want to see how you guys are doing and how we can help you improve. The instructions are in the comments below. Hey, thanks again guys for watching. I'm Keith Allen Henson and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming out.